bless you and welcome back to the triage room, Jehovah Rapha, where sin is a sickness and Christ is the cure. Um, today's topic, um, was Jesus black or white, is a provocative topic, a topic that actually was was born out of a conversation I had online with someone um, who asked that very same question. Um, and also, as I was shopping today, I came across two two men who were preaching on the on on the street very uh venomously um that jesus was black um i have a picture of the two gentlemen who were, who were preaching and also a short video clip for about three seconds um i'll just give you a chance to hear what they were saying who, who, who can me, man? That's less, man. now as you can hear um they were professing and screaming at uh, passers-by about uh, the blackness of Jesus and also they were holding up a picture a picture which they say the Catholic Church had used over centuries to brainwash um, people into believing that Jesus was in fact uh, white, blue-eyed and blonde. Now as I've alluded to this is a very uh, emotive topic um, it is also one that forces people to take sides um, uh, become partisan now, my motive is not really to get people to take sides or become angry, upset. Um, it's to stimulate conversation, uh, which I'm trying to do here. And at the end of this video, I'm sure there will be people saying um, to me that they still disagree with what I've said and, and, and will probably want to put their comment or rebuttal whatever I've said. Um, feel free to do so at the end of this video. I, I don't claim that I have the answers to this particular question. Uh, I'll give my opinion. Um, as a Christian, but um, I'm sure the argument will rage on years and, 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 and centuries long after I've made this video. Um, but here is my, my, uh, my spin on this particular question. Was Jesus black or white? In light of what's happened to uh, George Floyd um, recently and with the Black Lives Matter marches around the world, I think it's a, a, a relevant uh, subject to bring up right now. Um, it talks about there's elements of race and, and division, you know, um, in this particular topic. But here goes. From a historical point of view, um, it's true to say that when uh, the first missionaries from uh, the Western world went to the continent of Africa, that they brought with them a Jesus um, made in their image. In other words, they brought a Jesus that was white, uh, blue-eyed, um, and blonde. So wherever they went, whether it was the uh, the Christopher Columbus's of this world or the Marco Polo's of this world or just the missionaries that were sent by the, the then great Catholic Church, they brought a Jesus made in their image. And I, I, I understand why these men on the street are angry and they have an element of truth in, in them, um, but they are trying, in their opinion, I think, to correct centuries of uh, brainwashing um, from the church, you know, from the Catholic church, who, as I've said, made Christ in their image and brought the gospel uh, down to a, a level that it shouldn't have been brought down to. Because in, in my opinion, the gospel is pure. Um, the gospel is truth. And I think when we try to make Christ in our image, whether it be black or white, we debase the gospel. We solid the gospel. We pollute the gospel. And the gospel was never about color. It was never about color. If you were to search um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, go on. You know, um, you'll find that there was no mention about the color of Jesus. I challenge anyone to find that in the four Gospels. There was no mention about the color of Jesus Christ. It talks about where he was born, um, what tribe he was born into. Um, it talks about him being a, Nazare a Nazarene, didn't have to cut. His, his hair was not supposed to be cut. It talks about the kind of food he should eat or should not eat. But there was no mention of whether he was um, white, black, or something in between. Um, because as far as Christ is, Christ's coming, it wasn't important. It wasn't important to Jesus, neither was it important to the, 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 the writers of the gospel. Why? Because it was about why he came, his mission. 
his purpose. I would like to conclude by saying this. Even if it was infallibly proven that Jesus was indeed uh, black, um, it would be, I'm sure, uplifting for many of our people. Um, I would celebrate it myself. Um, but I also believe that there will be some amongst us who would weaponize this uh, truth and use it to um, subjugate other people. In the same way, I believe the then Catholic Church used uh, Jesus or the white, blue-eyed, blonde Jesus to subjugate uh, the people it went to to mission, uh, missionize. Um, so I would say this. Let's not focus on whether Jesus was black or white. Or, as I've said earlier, we'll miss why he came. Because say he was black. What then? What next? Um, if we still don't grasp his message, then we'll be truly lost as a people anyway. So let's look beyond the, the, the color or hue of his skin and let's focus on his message. The Bible said he came to seek and to save that which was lost. And that's his, that's his modus operandi. That's his mission, his reason for coming, was to seek and to save that which was lost. His color, although important to me or maybe important to you, was secondary to his mission. Um, as I've said earlier, um, my conclusion may not um, land or sit well with you, um, but I'm open for any criticism. I'm open for your comments. Um, if you want to uh, add your comments to this, you know, I'm sure we can continue the debate on a positive, uh, in a positive line. Um, so please add your comments and please pass it on so we can have a conversation to a wider group of people. May God bless you until next time. Dear viewer, if you've been challenged by this message and would like to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations, you've been born again. My advice to you would be to find a Bible-believing fellowship to continue your walk with God. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until next time.